Welcome back students in this video I am going to cover the important concepts related to the course antennas and propagation for EC students under J and UH R16 as well as R18 regulation. A students taking this course should have a basic knowledge in the course electromagnetic theory as well as transmission lines so that this will be very easy for you to take this course. Before going to start the video on the important concepts as well as the questions related to this course as the course is all about the theory as well as derivations as well as around 10 percent of problems make sure to work out accordingly I have covered and taken into consideration as per the covid pattern you are supposed to work out 5 units of which 8 questions will be given you are supposed to answer any 5. Let us look at the first unit. The first unit is two lengthy in its structure. It is all about the definitions of directivity, gain and resolution of antenna as well as the radiation resistance, radiation intensity and effective length. Dear students, please do listen each and every point which I am speaking here till the end of video and do not skip it later effective aperture as well as effective area as well as height for a line wave antenna and beam area as well as efficiency this may be the one of the 1a question in your question paper for sure dear students the course is too lengthy you are supposed to work out each and every point and concentrate the points which i am focusing here as well as derive radiating resistance and power of a quarter wave monopole as well as half wave dipole as well as the radiating uh, resistance of a monopole using principal planes is one of the gunshot question for sure this time this may be one be dear students for sure later calculate the directivity for the unidirectional antenna with a power pattern some equation or a relation will be given later equation for fields from oscillating dipole as well as expression for electric as well as magnetic field components of quarter wavelength monopole antenna as well as hertz antenna may be also one of the gun short question dear students and from these concepts we can get a 2a as well as a 2b may be related to the loop antenna as well as its advantages applications as well as disadvantages and the differences between small loop antenna as well as long loop antenna and sometimes it is also asked to prove effective length of an antenna for transmitting or receiving is same or not from these concepts we can expect dear students a 2a as well as 2b as well as we can expect till here 1a as well as 1b dear students please do focus the course is too lengthy in its structure these questions if you prepare for sure i can give a guarantee that the four questions will cover from these topics later let us look at the unit 2 the unit 2 is all about the theory i have uploaded a video on how to take a theory paper under j and uh to score a better mark and the video is uploaded in this channel please do watch it and work out accordingly work out the procedure to measure directivity of antenna as well as solve directivity of end fire array antenna as well as compare end fire versus broad fire with a neat sketch may be one of the gunshot question dear students and field strength of a uniform linear array derive it as well as equation for field strength of uniform linear array till here we can expect dear students a third question a as well as b do not skip any part which I am focusing here do work out each and every parameter every concept which I am speaking here later the expression of principle of pattern multiplication considering an array of four elements as well as expression for array factor for a non uniform broadside linear array for even as well as odd number of elements from these two concepts we can expect one of this question that may be a gunshot question dear students later the measurements of antenna patterns explain with a neat sketch as well as the differences between near field measurement and far field measurement of an antenna and gain measurement using gain transfer method is also one of the very very important question dear students and from these all concepts concepts we can expect the 4a as well as 4b later the features of binomial array as well as the feeding concepts and the advantages of the binomial array dear students do not expect direct 15 mark question in the course antennas and propagation why because it is all about the theory and you have lots of definitions 
as well as the derivations in this course. Make sure to work out each and every part and try to write very neatly carry all your stationery to the examination hall. Later I am going to consider third as well as fourth unit together why because the structure is in such a way that the fifth unit is too lengthy in its structure I did not take an into consideration why because one and a half question may be asked from the unit 5 or one question will be asked and as per the covid pattern we know that the first three units will be covering six questions but as per the structure of the course antennas and propagation we can expect three questions from unit three as well as four i mean question three is one and a half and question four is also one and a half i mean the unit four and three are one and a half as well as one and a half question dear students and do not expect two questions from third unit we can expect one and a half from the third and one and a half from the fourth later this is operation of yagi uda antenna and its design considerations along with the sketch and applications is one of the gun shot question we can expect from this unit later helical antenna as well as its helical modes explain related to helical antenna design and operation and principle with a neat sketch may be also one of the gun shot question dear students i have highlighted few important questions taking into consideration as per the analysis done by me taking a previous year question papers as well as the syllabus of university i mean jntu the topmost questions are placed on the top of the unit here please do work out later the folded dipoles and the characteristics as well as radiation mechanism in microstrip antenna is also one of the very very important question related to microstrip a damn sure question you will be getting related to the features its applications as well as the working principle later a problem may be asked for a 5 mark or a 7 mark related to the power gain and directivity as well as rectangular patch antenna explain that may be a 5 mark later sectorial pyramidal as well as conical horns its differences make sure while writing the differences use the tabular column and do not write your answer in paragraphs write only in points later fermat's principle and its use how it is useful in the design of antenna may be one of the question dear students these all questions were covered from unit 3 and 4 and these all are very very important and gunshot questions later the reflectors and its types under reflectors most of the time the corner reflector as well as parabolic is asked several number of times and can we can expect this to be a gunshot question its operation and as well as classic grain field uh, geometry you need to derive for a parabolic uh, reflectors and about this the features as well as the focal length to the diameter diameter ratio may be also one of the question and the different types of fields related to this these all are the questions which have taken into consideration for the course antennas and propagation please do work out accordingly and we can expect one and a half question from this and one and a half question from this part dear students i have covered seven questions here make sure to read at least two units or at least two and a half units i mean till this part so that you will be getting five questions for sure and you are going to score a better mark make sure to work out accordingly and do comment in the comment section if you are looking for any other course hope you are liking my videos and do subscribe and share with your friends thank you good luck and god bless you all